place in Charleston to get a great haircut. I'm here at Easy Co Barbers and they just opened this week. Austin Center is here. He is the sole proprietor of this business, <laughs> right. the barber, the owner. Austin, first off, congratulations on this great achievement. You must be pretty excited to be open right now. I am. Thanks, Aaron, for coming out. Uh, we're really excited to be open here in Charleston and bring uh, a barber shop back to town. Now, you guys had your ribbon cutting ceremony this morning. Who came out? I mean, the whole Chamber of Commerce came out to support us. Uh, my family was here. A lot of people from the community came out to support us opening up. Have you ever been to a barbershop barbershop before? I think one thing that people realize when they walk in here is they immediately pick up on the vibe. It felt very nostalgic and awesome because it did remind me of my grandpa a lot. You have an old school, old fashioned kind of feeling when you walk in this place. Kind of tell me about your intention there. Well, you know, the 40s and 50s were like the golden age of barbering. Uh, it's also one of my favorite eras. I've always been enthralled with World War II and the 40s and 50s. You know, I saw Grace when I was a kid and he had the big hair. I've just always liked the environment and uh, I just kind of wanted to capture that, you know. Uh, there's so many things that are moving really forward. You know, everything has a screen on it, everything's shiny, but the barbershop has just been around forever. And uh, it's one of those things that hasn't changed and I don't want it to change. So you're kind of reviving old traditions here. Why is it so important to you that we keep the spirit of these old time barbershops alive? I've always kind of been interested in the, the old way of doing things. You know, I go out of my way to make coffee the harder way, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I know I could just like put it in the curate but you know I like to boil the water and all that jazz but you know I just always found that the more things move forward I kind of find that the older ways are sometimes better you know that not everything has to change I think the barbershop's one of those things okay and when your customer sits down in your chair what experience are you really looking to give them well you know what with the whole shop I've just wanted to take people back in time to when things were a little simpler you know things were things were easier you know and so I want them to give them a fresh haircut we style, we give them the straight razor neck shave with every service. It's a hot lather, straight razor neck shave. So every service, you know, at the end of the haircut, once we're finalized everything, everything looks good to the customer. We'll do hot shaving cream on the back of the neck. Then we'll take a straight razor and shave their neck. Then we give them a hot towel, you know, let them relax for a little bit, and then finish it off with some aftershave and talc powder to make them smell like they've been here. <laughs> I will say, even though you are interested in this old school vibe, your haircuts are very modern and appropriate for the modern man. This turned out very well, like beyond expectations. Well, the thing about it is that, you know, trends come and go, but classics are here forever. And so even when a new style does come in, usually it's just a slight variation of something that's been around forever. You know, you've got your crew cuts, your side parts, pompadours, flat tops. And that's what we specialize in, and that's what we love. So, Austin, for anyone who wants to come out, sit in your chair, how can people find you? So, if you've got a time restraint, the best way to do it is to go to the Facebook page. You can book an appointment online, but if you don't want to do that and you've got some time to kill, come on in, sign the chalkboard at an empty spot, and grab a cup of coffee and wait. <laughs> That sounds fabulous, Austin. Thank you so much. We'll connect you to their Facebook page and post the address online at CILiving.tv for anyone interested in coming on down. Thanks, Austin, and good luck. Thank you so much. Hope to see you all.